Cooling towers are widely used in industrial applications. They work by transferring heat from circulating water to a flowing air current. This is generally achieved by distributing the water against a countercurrent airflow. The water is distributed over a mass of infill or packing material, which effectively increases the surface area of the water before it falls into a pond or sump. The direction of the airflow may either be in opposition to the downward flow of the water, when it is known as counterflow, or across the flow of the water, when it is known as crossflow. Airflow is usually fan-assisted. If the fan is above the water distribution system, it draws the air up through the tower and is termed induced draught. Alternatively, if the fan is sited near the base of the tower, it is known as a false draught arrangement. Natural draught towers are commonly used in the electricity generation industry. The high tower walls generate the upward airflow without fan assistance. However, to date, there is no evidence of cases of Legionnaire's disease being attributed to this type of tower. To minimise the risk of acquiring Legionnaire's disease from cooling tower systems, it is essential to have good design and construction, suitable positioning of towers, adequate maintenance of the system cleanliness and condition, Appropriate water treatment to control water quality, including microbiological load, and suitable monitoring procedures.